This is an AMI podcast. I'm Kelly McDonald. Here's a segment from our show, Kelly and Company, that airs weekdays from 2 to 4 p.m. Eastern on AMI Audio. As Canada and the world react to the impact of the coronavirus, AMI Audio's live shows are keeping you up to date, folks. We're trying our best to make sure you know what's going on with the latest news and information regarding it. We've created a page where you can actually check out segments from our programs uh, relating to the uh, pandemic. Of course, you can go to ami.ca slash COVID-19 to take a listen at your convenience. Kelly McDonald, host of the program with Ramya Muthan. Talking about a lot of education lately. The kids are home with the parents and uh, we're not sure when school will be really, really back. So... Despite all the temporary school closures and classroom disruptions, MindFuel has announced that they'll be offering all of its online kindergarten to grade 12, K-12, to uh, STEM educational resources at no cost to all Canadians. This is amazing and humongous news. We're talking right now to Cassie Weber, CEO of MindFuel, to find out more about uh, what's going on. Cassie, thank you so much for coming on the show. Not sure if we have Cassie. I think we might have lost her for a moment. We'll get her back in a second here. Oh, Cassie, do we have you? I'm here. Ah, there she oh, is. Oh, perfect. Yeah, yeah. Great. I, we can hear you now. I said, oh, good. I said, thank you so much for having me and what crazy times we're in right now. For sure. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, but it, amongst, you know, amidst all this, really, uh, you guys are still doing so much to try to help everybody. Um, but first, let's start from the beginning. So for people who are not familiar with Mindfield, can you best describe it for us and our audience? We absolutely can. So we've been around for over 30 years. Um, we started way back when as a provincially focused uh, charity uh, called Science Alberta Foundation, and that was under... Peter Lougheed, who was the premier at that time, along with Jim Gray, who is, um, you know, a Canadian hero, um, 86 now and still very active. And so we started focusing back then on um, what the needs of Alberta were at that time. And over the last 30 years, um, we've expanded our programming to across Canada and really where we focus is education technology. And so we have many, many online resources that are normally accessible at, you know, very low price points because we are a nonprofit. But um, when the World Health Organization announced or declared a pandemic, we very quickly removed all of our paywalls just to make sure that students, teachers, and parents across Canada were able to access online tools because everyone's scrambling. Wow. And so, That's yeah. really, really generous of you guys to, to do so. Uh, and, and sure, it's it's difficult, it, whether it's this time or at any time, because, you know, that, that little bit of money, which is, is great price on, on access to this kind of information, is helpful to do so. So... Um, I think that's really admirable, and hopefully you guys can do it as long as you can without it being a little bit too tight. Well, I, you know, I hope so too, and right now we're just focusing on getting students, teachers, and parents through this school year. So we planned um, at a minimum to have our paywalls removed until the end of June, and so we're getting uh, many, many calls and emails from across Canada um, just getting getting teachers on board really quickly, getting parents oriented, and um, we're just so happy that we can help. This is the one thing we can do really well. Excellent. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So I can now, imagine. Mm-hmm. Um, so we have a dedicated um, uh, Mindfield Stay Safe at Home page. I don't know if you have it. I'm happy to uh, provide details. Um, it's mindfuel.ca slash stay safe slash and uh, teachers, parents, students can go to this uh, site and they will get oriented to all of our various uh, learning platforms. K-12, um, there's uh, science uh, units and, and resources for each grade. Um, that go into life sciences, physical sciences, indigenous ways of knowing, um, career showcase, and we delve into, you know, bacteria cells, DNA, allergies, synthetic bio, nanotechnology, 
and um, there's lots of games, animations, lessons, lesson plans. And we have that available in French as well. So English and French. Oh, that's good. That's fantastic. So can you actually describe some of the ways uh, that people could utilize this? You know, teachers would probably be a little more familiar with um, checking out lesson plans and things like that. But parents at home who are now going, "Uh uh-oh, how do we do this? Uh, Maybe you can describe as an example, you know, a science or something else that people can go into the platform and check it out and then utilize it to help the, the kids learn. Absolutely. So you're right. Teachers know exactly what to do once they, once you know, it takes less than a minute to sign up. Um, they know exactly where to go to find lesson plans and then the corresponding science units. Now, parents, on the other hand, you know, they're not necessarily oriented into curricular outcomes. So what we've done is we've organized, uh, it's called wonderville.org. Um, So Wonderville.org allows parents to go in and select resources by grade, so whatever grade their student or their child is in, and then topic. So it's really easy to navigate. And then once the parent has selected uh, the grade and the topic, then there's a host of resources that um, help orient the child into that particular area of learning and that could be through an animation it could be through um, a short summary and there's a science facts sheet and then there's um, lots of games that are associated with that particular um, science uh, topic or or, um, you know science unit so that the student can begin learning by through game playing, which of course we know is very effective for students because they remain very highly engaged. Cassie, you guys have had an uptick in people utilizing these resources, and you've been in the game for a while, so you know how to curtail them, how to make it easier to get at stuff, and of course make it interesting. Have you found, or with the feedback, are you getting any comments that, hey, since we're all at home, we're doing this and that, and is there anything else to make things a little more interesting? Or have you found since the uh, demand that you've had to make some little adaptations, especially for that young person out there that is distracted easily? Absolutely. Well, there's there's a couple things. The first is normally we have um, about 2.5 of full-time people um, who are on hand wow. to to help teachers and to help parents but um, we're not able to keep up with demand. We need, uh, we need more people, uh, probably five to six, to be able to, to be available. And the second thing is that um, parents have to be really, you know, set realistic expectations. Um, you know, students cannot do six to eight hours of online learning. It's, it's too much. So they need, you know, it's a, so a one It's so different, too, than what you're used to. Absolutely, and there's not that socialization aspect, which is such a critical component yeah. of being in the classroom. So they, you know, do an hour of learning, take an activity break around the house or go out into the yard, you know, maintain the safe social distance and come back and, and uh, you know, help, help the students stay motivated. And really when learning is fun, um, students, Students are motivated. They are engaged. And so that's the one thing we're really good at. We're really good at making learning fun because we understand um, how how to develop certain animations and games. And then we focus test all of these in classrooms. So it's the students who tell us, you know, when they're ready to go. Um, The other thing is that um, students need... Uh, you know, need reassurance. I mean, there's a lot of stress. There's a lot of uh, mental health concern for students um, who who are not sure exactly, you know, when this will end. And so what I tell my children is it's just the way it's going to be for the next few months and we'll just make it work and, um, you know, work hard to alleviate those concerns of the kids. Especially when we're talking, um, like you're saying, instead of trying to emulate that whole school day of six to eight hours or whatever, we're doing things in combinations with other things, with interactive, with um, around the house, outside, whatever it is, and trying to make everything kind of a casual learning opportunity for the kids. That's amazing, Cassie. Yeah, and, and that's really critical. Now, we are getting some really positive feedback on Codingville. Um, it's another one of our online resources, so codingville.ca. And this 
is game-based journeys, and it has been developed um, to to align with uh, grades one to three, four to six, seven to nine, and ten to twelve. And so it's 21 hours of coding journeys, and once students move through um, the 21 hours of coding journeys, which are game-based, they will be proficient coders. So this is the positive as well, because you know we don't always have time to do um, these these types of learning activities because they're not necessarily directly connected to curriculum. Yeah. And so that's a, that's a perfect way to say, hey, kids, let's go have some fun. You'll learn how to code, and and uh, you know, parents can do it too. It's not just for kids. But oh yeah, it's, I was it's thinking good, I was going to yeah. go check that out right after the show. <laughs> yeah, take thirty seconds to sign up. That's amazing, Cassie. Thank you so much. And uh, again, give us the website, but we do have it up on our blog as well for listeners. ami.ca slash Kelly Co. Yep, uh, Mind Fuel. Uh, so mind f u e l dot c a slash uh, stay. What is it? Stay safe. Let me just stay check. Safe. Yep, stay safe. Perfect. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Appreciate Thank the information, you. and you be well. Same with you. Bye bye. We were talking to Cassie Weber, CEO of Mind Fuel, and they were uh, they're offering free online educational resources from K to 12. So lots of stuff up there on mindfuel.ca that you can check out. Community reporter Kim Kilpatrick from Ottawa in next right here on Kelly and Company. You've been listening to Kelly and Company. If you're hooked, subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast platform. And be sure to leave us a rating and review. Or you can listen live from 2 to 4 p.m. Eastern on AMI-audio. This was an AMI podcast. For more accessible media, visit AMI.ca.